All right, so here's the deal. Here's what happens with decompression therapy, okay? <clears throat> so the reason why we're having the pain in the first place is the disc itself. So you've got bone, disc, and bone, and then the spinal nerve. So the disc itself gets compressed. And as it gets compressed, <clears throat> that disc then, right, pushes onto that nerve root, and that's why it hurts. That's why we get the ouchies, right? Lower back pain, neck pain, pain shooting down our arms, numbness in the fingertips, sciatica pain. All of those things are coming from the disc compressing and pushing upon that nerve root. So the treatment is designed to pull the pressure off of the disc, okay? There's two very, very important things with the discs. Number one, the inside part of that disc is made up of a water and a jelly-like structure. The water content within that disc, normally when it's good, you can absorb shock and there's no pain, everything's okay. What happens over time though, or through an injury, you start to lose that water content and the disc then starts to compress. And as it compresses, it pushes upon the nerve, the nerves go, the muscles, the muscles tighten, and we start to feel pain. The second thing is the discs themselves are avascular. There's no direct blood supply to a disc. For example, if you cut your finger, it just bleeds and then heals. The discs don't work that way, okay? All day long, your discs compress just a little bit, and then they open. This motion, it's called spinal imbibition. Think of it like a little pump, and that pump delivers water, oxygen, and nutrients to the disc so it stays nice and healthy. However, when you've compressed the disc, not only can it cause the pain, but that little pump system and no longer is functioning. So the disc is not getting water, oxygen, or nutrients. So what the decompression does is designed to slowly pull the disc off of the nerve roots. So number one, you start to feel better, but equally, if not more important now, that pump system starts to begin to work again. The disc is getting water, oxygen, and nutrients, and we can start to heal that area. Okay. Now, You've probably heard of um, traction before or inversion tables that hang upside down. So spinal decompression works very, very different. Okay? On the machines, there's three computers. One of the computers, the only job it has, 13 times per second, it's monitoring those muscles. So let's say you're on the machine and it's pulling and you start to feel some pain. All of a sudden, the muscles are going to send a signal to the computer. The computer is going to immediately decrease the tension until everything relaxes once again and it's gonna slowly start pulling back up again. So it creates, number one, a much more comfortable therapy, but number two, much more effective because it's actually decompressing the disc rather than stretching the muscles and hoping that that's gonna help it, okay? The reason why we use DRX 9000 machines is because these are the machines they study through Johns Hopkins, Duke Medical, Stanford University, all showed the highest success rates. However, at the end of the day, it's still just a machine. So we need to know what we do, how we set the settings, what we do before, during, and after. We're one of the only offices that have a certified decompression doctor, which is myself. We've been doing this for 18 years. We've done over 30,000 of these treatments. This is all we do. This is our specialty. So if you're in pain and you need some help, give us a call. We're happy to see if we can help you.